from the Jan family. I'm Anjali, and today we're going to react to Tulsi Gabbard's Diwali greeting. Yes, so this was recommended to us, and I've actually um, seen a few other people in some of our comments uh, write her name when we did that 25 uh, scientific, scientific reasons, reasons behind, behind um, India's cultures and traditions. Mm -hmm. There was the Tulsi tree. And they were like, oh, don't you have somebody? So we do. She is a, an American politician and military combat veteran. So we salute her uh, for serving and a representative for Hawaii's second congregational district. She's a member of the Democratic Party. Um, and she became the first Salmon, Salmon American and Hindu American of Congress. So amazing, amazing. And I know she was also running for presidency. Yes. So we are going to watch her Diwali greeting. Let's start it up, Anji. <laughs> Aloha and namaste. I'd like to wish you and your family a very happy Diwali. Diwali is such a special time of year where people all over the world are coming together to light their lamps in honor of the return of Lord Ramachandra to his kingdom after many years in exile and to celebrate the victory of light over darkness, of good over evil and knowledge over ignorance. Unfortunately, in our world today, we find ourselves surrounded by darkness and divisiveness based on race or gender, politics or religion. We see political leaders and influencers, people in the media, unfortunately fomenting bigotry and hatred for their own personal or political gain. Rather than engaging in constructive dialogue, treating each other with respect, disagreeing without being disagreeable, too much of our public discourse is dominated by hatred, tribalism, and character assassination, which unfortunately has led to threats or acts of violence. This is why it's so important for every one of us to remember and to be inspired by the words of Dr. Martin Luther King, who said, darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. But we must not mistake love for weakness, because the truth is, there is no force more powerful than love. It's love that drives a mother to run into a burning house to save her child. It's love that inspires first responders to run towards the fire to save people's lives. It's love that gives the courage to our troops who put their lives on the line to serve our country. And it's love that motivates every one of us to care for each other and for our planet. So as we come together and light our lamps this year to celebrate Diwali, let us pray that the light of love and aloha in each of our hearts will burn brightly and that we share that light and love with everyone. Jaya Lord Ramachandra, Jaya Shri Krishna. This was the message I feel like we've been trying to portray in our videos, but trying to get through in such a more eloquent way and on a little bit of a bigger scale, like talking about more of the politics of it and talking about, you know, the servicemen and women that put their lives on the line, you know, um, it's not about weakness. It's about love of your country, the love of humanity and that you want light for everybody just this message is so touching and so true to our day and age that we would like to see more light and love and so in peace and peace it shouldn't matter your race your color your religion you know everybody is human at the end of the day Everybody needs food and shelter and basic things. And, and we, as the Jan family, only want good things for every country. And this message from her is just amazing. It was perfect. Yeah. Perfect for this Diwali. And I feel like we've been praying 
um, for peace and love. Um, but she put it in such nice words. Um, it just gave me such hope and love in my heart. We just want good things for everybody. So it really got me when she talked about how the service people come or how like a mother would go in her go in a fire for her child because because they love them you know because they love them yeah the service people do it for people they don't even know because they love their country because they do it for humanity it's not they're not thinking oh is this person purple is this person green like maybe i only save the purple people no like no, yeah yeah save everybody and they, yeah yeah this yeah this message got to me more than i thought it would like i was thinking like happy diwali yeah and it was expected not really what i expected and i didn't really expect it to hit it quite so in the heart like it did and um you know this is stuff we've been preaching you know peace and love and like she said hate you're not... can't go ahead hate hate can't fix hate hate just brings more hatred love right. can love can fix it yeah darkness can't be overcome with more darkness you need light yeah like the lights they put out for lord ram and sita yeah. when they come back from their journey from being you know away for so long like it's just that's what it should be about it should yeah. be you know love and hope and light and for the peace. world and peace and um you know regardless her political views you know i read you know who she is i just so you guys would know a little background about her you know we trump also celebrates uh diwali in the white house he's republican she's a democrat um, she is a Hindu, so yeah. it's just, it's not about religion, it's not about race, it's, you know, about celebrating the cultures, celebrating people, Yeah. and, you know, I pray every day for the light of God, so, um, I hope you guys like this video, I hope you had a happy Diwali, and if you like this video, don't forget to click that like button down below, because the more you like it, the more YouTube shares our videos. And don't forget to subscribe and join the wonderful Jan family, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Bye.